Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to show you how I use Artistly 5.0 to make my first video ad. And before we get deep down into it, I'm going to give you a preview of the ad. From clothes on pay bills and my dog chewing my laptop charger. I was one second away from selling feet pics. I need a jump start, a way to plug into the momentum, not build from the ground up. I need to launch my first digital product by Friday, or it's back to my mom's shop. And she just joined Tinder. Then I found DCT business in a box. It's like putting training wheels on your hustle. Don't worry, you'll be popping wheelies in no time. But first, let's make sure you ain't eating pavement on day one. Six months building business just to quit at checkout. That's like dressing up with nowhere to go. That's why we built DCT business in a box. In 30 days, you could launch your first product and finally understand how to use AI. Now I sell branded ebooks in my sleep. Learn, build, win, and maybe finally pay for your own Netflix like the boss you are. Join the DCT business in a box community. It's only $27 a month. Okay, guys, like I said before, just giving you an overview of Artistly. If you can, you will see that you get the $49 price. If you want to just try it out to see if you like it, you can later on upgrade to the $147 price. On time offer, click the link in the description box below. Okay guys, so right now I'm in the process of creating a, a film or let's say a short advertisement video and I want to use the photo editor. As you can see, I have all my consistent characters that I use for my script and I want to use my photo editor to change some of the prompts, okay? So um, I'm going to use this one, so let's get started. Let's go into Design Assistant. Let's go into Photo Editor. Let's go into Choose a Library from the Library. And here we go. We're going to choose that one. And let's put Change Outfit to a yellow dress. Okay. And you can also do things like this, remove the subject from this image or colorize this image. And I've never tried those. Maybe we'll try them just to see uh, what we get. Okay, so let's generate the image. And let's see what we get. Okay, now something else I also realized, guys, is that when doing this, if you put too much in there, let's say, for instance, I say, um, see, there she goes, and she's in a yellow dress. Look how cool that is, guys. Same person, but now she's in a yellow dress. Okay, now let's say I want to use, now I'm going to use this image this time, and I'm going to say, um, let our hair down let us say um remove uh headband from head let's try that so let's go in and we're gonna do it this way let's go to the photo editor go into choose the library we are going to use this so we're gonna say remove headband and bun to let her hair down. Now this is trial and error guys. Like when I do some of this stuff, I do it so that you can see it firsthand, like what's the trial and error or you know, what can happen. Now what I will say is sometimes when you give it too many prompts in one setting, 
most likely it's going to change something else that you don't want to change. So that's why I'm trying to do it step by step. Because if I were to put on there, change her outfit to a yellow dress, remove the hair band and let her hair down, I guarantee you it would not be the same image or it would have changed something. Okay, so let's uh, generate this image and let's see what we get. the purpose of this video they're going to be on a zoom call and i'm going to also let you um if you haven't seen it i'm sure that i showed it in the beginning of the video is uh one of my first advertising clips that i created and i am actually doing look at that guys she's bald-headed you see that okay so let's go back like i said again trial and error not only did it remove her headband and the hair, it took her on. Girl, no, it didn't. Okay, I'm too through. Um, <laughs> let's do it again. Let's go back into our design assistant. See, that's why I gave it too much information. So we're going to go back. We're going to use the same lady. And this time we're going to say... Um, Let's say hair to, no, let's just remove the headband. And let's see what we get. This poor baby right here, bless her heart. She looks horrible. I mean, I removed the eye from this child. And took her hands. I'm so sorry. And snatched her darn um, tablet from her. My bad, young lady. I just feel like the headband doesn't go with the yellow dress. That's just my opinion. I think it's more dressy to remove the headband. I'm, <clears throat> I'm really kind of stuck on how I can change her hairstyle. Um, maybe if it removes the headband the right way this time, I can then go back in and put change your hairstyle. So this is my suggestion to you that if you are going to like change some things, you want to keep that same face, but you want to change some things, you're going to have to do it in stages because if you don't, um, it is going to do things like this. And honestly, if you're doing a video or something like that, maybe you're using this image to make a complete lifestyle avatar video and you want to show the progression of her getting dressed like she's taking her hair down or removing her, her um, headpiece or changing into a dress. These steps can come in handy and you're able to use them as a progression in your video. Okay, let's see. It's taking a minute. Let's see if it's back. Well, it could be my internet service. Give me one moment. And it did it. See, guys, I tell you, Artistly is a game changer. The things you can do in Artistly is absolutely amazing. You got to try this out, okay? I will come back with more videos like this, so stay tuned. Okay, guys, so right now I'm in the process of creating a, a film or, let's say, a short advertisement video. And I want to use the photo editor. As you can see, I have all my consistent characters that I use for my script. And I want to use my photo editor to change some of the prompts, okay? So um, I'm going to use this one. So let's get started. Let's go into Design Assistant. Let's go into Photo Editor. Let's go into Choose a Library from the Library. 
and here we go. We're going to choose that one. And let's put change outfit to a yellow dress. Okay. And you can also do things like this. Remove the subject from this image or colorize this image. And I've never tried those. Maybe we'll try them just to see. Uh, what we get okay so let's generate the image and let's see what we get okay now something else I also realized guys is that when doing this if you put too much in there let's say for instance I say um, see there she goes and she's in a yellow dress. Look how cool that is, guys. Same person, but now she's in a yellow dress. Okay, now let's say I want to use, now I'm going to use this image this time, and I'm going to say, um, let her hair down. Let us say, um, remove uh, headband from head. Let's try that. So let's go in and we're going to do it this way. Let's go to the photo editor. Go into choose the library. We are going to use this. So we're going to say remove headband. And bun to let her hair down. Now this is trial and error, guys. Like when I do some of this stuff, I do it so that you can see it firsthand. Like what's the trial and error, or you know what can happen. Now what I will say is sometimes when you give it too many prompts in one setting most likely it's going to change something else that you don't want to change. So that's why I'm trying to do it step by step because if I were to put on there, change her outfit to a yellow dress, remove the hair band and let her hair down, I guarantee you it would not be the same image or it would have changed something, okay? So let's uh, generate this image and let's see what we get. the purpose of this video they're going to be on a zoom call and i'm going to also let you um if you haven't seen it i'm sure that i showed it in the beginning of the video is uh one of my first advertisement clips that i created and i am actually doing look at that guys she's bald headed you see that okay so let's go back like I said, again, trial and error. Not only did it remove her headband and the hair, it took her on. Girl, no, it didn't. Okay, I'm too through. Um, <laughs> let's do it again. Let's go back into our design assistant. See, that's why I gave it too much information. So we're going to go back. We're going to use the same lady. And this time we're going to say... Um, Let's say hair to, no, let's just remove the headband. And let's see what we get. This poor baby right here, bless her heart. She looks horrible. I mean, I removed the eye from this child. And took her hands. I'm so sorry. And snatched her darn um, tablet from her. My bad, young lady. I just feel like the headband doesn't go with the yellow dress. That's just my opinion. I think it's more dressy. 
to remove the headband. I'm <clears throat> I'm really kind of stuck on how I can change her hairstyle. Um, maybe if it removes the headband the right 